Welcome back to my channel, Another Headache. I'm your host, Renee. I'm sorry you have to be here. I just finished watching a video from a channel that I subscribe to called Footless Joe. And Footless Joe has really, she's really the person that inspired me to do this channel. She talks about what life is like having only one foot. Um, and that made me feel like maybe I could talk to people about what life is like having headaches, migraines, and cluster headaches. Um, she's been a huge inspiration for me, and I just finished watching one of her videos that she released yesterday titled, It Isn't a Compliment. And in the video, she talks about how someone has tried to pay her a compliment by saying, I don't think of you as a disabled person or words to that effect. Watch the video. I'll put the link in the description. But that got me thinking about disabilities in general, and specifically disability payments in relation to migraines. So I thought I would make a short video about it. So when my headaches and migraines really started, and I had that year of hell, 2007, I had looked a little bit then at getting disability payments in the UK because I had migraines. But they were fairly new, and I was figuring them out and how much of an impact they were going to actually have on my life and how long they were going to last for. So I never applied. I just got on with my life, and I dealt with the pain. But I've always kind of known in the back of my head, disability payments for migraines was an option. So I'm going to explore that now. And I thought I would share that journey with you. So I've done a little bit of research. Here's what the government regulations say. So this is from a website called the Migraine Trust. They provide uh, some fantastic information for migraine sufferers. And here's what their document says. Migraine may be considered as a disability under the Equality Act of 2010. However, this depends on how bad your migraine attacks are and how often you have them. The Act defines disability as a physical or mental impairment which has a substantial and long-term adverse effect on your ability to carry out normal day-to-day -day activities. For migraines to be considered a disability under the Act, you need to be able to show that it meets this definition in the following ways. Substantial means more than a minor or trivial. Long-term means that the impairment has lasted or is likely to last for more than 12 months or the rest of your life. Day-to-day -day activities are the things you do on a regular daily basis. So this could include shopping, reading, having a conversation with someone, using the telephone, watching TV, doing household tasks, walking, traveling by various forms of transport, taking part in social activities. This can also include work-related activities, such as interacting with colleagues, following instructions, using a computer, driving, carrying out interviews, preparing written documents, and keeping to a timetable or shift pattern. So basically, if you have migraines, you've had them for longer than 12 months, if you're likely to have them for a long time, like me, and they cause a substantial disruption to your day-to-day -day life, you should be able to qualify for what's called PIP. I'll need to look up PIP. Hold on. Right, PIP stands for Personal Independent Payment. So if you, if you meet this criteria, you can qualify for uh, PIP, which will supplement your income. And this is what I'm going to do. I've made the decision. I'm going to go ahead and apply for this. But I thought I would bring you along on my journey. So I'm going to show you what the application process is, what information I've been asked to provide, uh, how long the whole process takes. I'm kind of guessing probably a couple months, start to finish, and, and all the information uh, that I can possibly learn from this process and share with you so that if you need to fill in this paperwork for disability for my migraines, you'll have a head start on it. So I just wanted to do this quick video to say this is what I'm doing. Expect a series of videos on this in the coming months. Um, again, thank you for coming to my channel and supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Please subscribe and share. That really helps with this video. I've spun up a new Patreon page. 
Um, so I'll put a link to that in the channel. And of course, I will also put a link to Footless Joe's page. You really need to check this person out. She has fantastic videos. Uh, she's really got a positive, upbeat attitude towards life. And I'm sure you'll enjoy her videos. So thank you very much.